Well, some interesting information on the analog sensors. Let's talk a little bit about the uh, mysterious 8-bit and 10-bit a to D conversions that take place. Now for you techs that are really into electronics, I know that some of you that are actually logged in that are there, you want to know about how this thing ticks. So let me tell you, anything that's an analog input to the computer, whether it be a throttle position sensor, coolant sensor, or in this case, intake air temp sensor coming from the mass airflow, as well as the mass airflow sensor output itself. So the blue line, the intake air temp we saw before, and the green line we have here illustrating the mass airflow, in this case, an analog output. So both are analog. Let's say they're both at a, you know, two and a half volts, for example. That's gonna get changed into a digital signal. Now what does that is an A to D converter or conversion analog to digital. And the more lines of data, it's called eight bits, in this case, like eight lanes of transportation going eastbound, eight lanes going westbound and so forth, the more traffic you can get. So more information can be transmitted and dealt with with an eight bit converter. This is done with the software, by the way, it's not an actual physical component. We have an A to D converter, which is a digital component in the PCM, but how it operates is via software. So for things that require higher speed updates, but less resolution, we'll use 8-bit, and that gives us 256 different possibilities, from 0 to 256. And let's say 2.5 volts would be right at 128, right in the middle. Those numbers may sound familiar if you remember fuel trim when it was called integrator and block learn years ago. But if we need something more accurate, like mass airflow needs to be very accurate. We're using mass airflow on a car with a map and mass airflow primarily for air fuel issues. So determine exactly how much fuel for those injectors to spray. If you have a map in addition, manifold absolute pressure, MAP, that will be job will be resigned mainly for spark curve, for the spark table. Get it closer to the heart of the engine, you know, vacuum. But on a vehicle that does not have a MAP sensor, only mass airflow, MAF, will boot both spark and fuel off that sensor. Either way, it's got to be accurate. So we use a 10-bit A to D conversion, which gives us 1,024 different points. So right in the middle is like 512. That might be 2.5 volts. So that gives us more lines of data, more credibility, more accuracy in the sensor. It's so important, especially at higher speeds, that the power and ground that we talked about and we saw a voltage drop, not on ground, but on the power on that Lincoln, that's so important. The reason why, look at the high speed uh, conversion of voltage to grams per second. As we see about four and a half volts at wide open throttle, when we did that little blip, we watched our meter measuring the mass airflow output, we you can equate that to about 125 millivolts per gram. So another gram of air can make a difference in how it runs, we, whether we can measure that accurately or not. That's about 125 millivolts. At idle, not as much accuracy, 250 millivolts per gram of air. So it's more important we have accuracy at high speeds. Therefore, when the current draw doubled, as we see it maybe half of amp to an amp, when we did a wide open snap and made that mass airflow sensors hot wire, hot heat all the more to keep it hot, that's when that voltage drop on the B plus line took effect and made it worse, close to a half a volt or more, and that's enough. It could be a big deal. In fact, that's how we made, besides making the false air issue that I induced with an Allen wrench go away, that's how made that, that's what we made that Lincoln run better, was correcting a corrosion issue on a connection that supplied the B plus up there, the very top red wire you see in that schematic. We got that with a full 14 volts running, no voltage drop, and the car ran better because it had more accurate mass airflow at a higher speed. Connections, connections, connections.